Ladies and gentlemen, let's make the Pope communist. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 and 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with one of my favorite nations in the game, the nation of Detmarchen. Detmarchen is located in the north of the HRE, bordering the nation of Holstein, which is a subject of Denmark. We have the big and scary Kalmar Union to our north, and the best thing about Detmarchen is its unique government form, which is is a peasant's republic that's right everyone it's time to seize the means of production and it's a pretty popular meme in the eu4 community that the peasant's republic is pretty much communism but in eu4 since we're a republic we start off with this random guy over here that we don't know what he is and our national ideas as dit marchant are really really good we start off with morale plus 10 percent and shock damage received minus 10 percent we got your republican tradition as an ambition infantry combat tolerance of the true faith merchants privateer stuff we can even be pirate communists everyone one, minus 10% dev discount, monthly autonomy change, plus 10% goods produced, a super, super nice national idea set, and paired with our amazing mission tree, we can go on to do some pretty wild things as this tiny one province peasants republic. But what do we do as Ditmarchen? Well, obviously, since we're a peasants republic and we're pretty much communist, the only thing we can do in this run is spread communism to other nations around us. And I think a nice goal for this campaign would be to make 10 other nations all also be peasants republics now Friesland and East Frisia do start off as peasants republics as well but we won't count them so we need to make 10 other nations peasants republic by force but since the peasants republic CB spawns all the way in the age of reformation and it might not even spawn by the way why not add a secondary goal of forming the nation of that's right Italy <laughs> yes Italy just so we can listen to Bella Ciao just the way it was meant to be listened to as a communist peasant Republic. And before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like, it really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more challenges like this or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Let's jump in as Death Martian. Alright, alright, here we are as Death Martian. Now I do have the lessons of Hemingstead achievement, which requires us to have Sealand and uh Amsterdam and have Denmark not exist, so that's why I'm not doing the achievement, and that's why we're doing this cursed run. So uh obviously here's the Peasants Republic Gov reform. We got production efficiency, even more morale, minus 10% max absolutism. Our morale is really, really strong right at the start. And since we're a peasant's republic, we don't have any nobles, baby. That's right. So let me start off by doing some estate stuff first. All right, all right, estate stuff done. And would you look at that? We can even sell titles and then seize land. Amazing. Not only can we seize the means of production, we can also seize land. Let's take a look at our army here. For one, of course, we have a horse. Of course we do. Let's get that horse and, uh, well, I guess we don't have a horse anymore. There we go. What did we spawn as? 412. All right, not bad. He's a scholar, which is pretty good. And, uh, we need to kickstart our mission tree here by uh, linking up with the theocracy. Now, let's see which theocracy can we link up with right at the start here. Uh, is Brunswick one? And no, Brunswick is uh, not. Honestly, we can probably link with Colin if I improve relations with them. And I'm not going to be rivaling anyone at the start here. Okay, so obviously, since we're forming Italy, we're going to have to beeline down to Como or something like that. And uh, uh, why did I set this as a goal? Yeah, either way, I started spying on uh, Verdun. I think I'm going to fight them first. And we do need some boats right off the bat here so let me get uh let me get a galley spam going over here there we go all right uh time to chill and wait to fight these guys i guess or maybe someone else ah ansbach is the emperor <laughs> that's pretty funny <laughs> What happened here? He died so early, just like in my uh, Bavaria guide from two days ago. Okay, I can link up with Cole now. There we go. So we're allied. We can take the mission Pious Alliance, Tolerance of the True Faith, and claims on stuff that I'm spying on. Awesome. Nice. Uh, Let's continue down this way, right? Yeah. All right, so I've allied a couple of more guys. Let me add some rivals here. I am going to rival Verdun right here. There we go. Who are they allied to? Mecklenburg and Friesland. Uh, Death Martian is pretty strong right at the start by themselves. So we can totally take these three guys on by ourselves. Uh, I just need to get a couple of more loans even though they're super small and i need to get the free company and please lord let me have a morale guy i don't did i start building light ships at the start instead of galleys i feel like i probably did huh <laughs> and i hear yourself wondering how are you gonna convert other nations to being peasants republics well when the age of reformation hits we're gonna have the imperial incident the great peasants war or whatever
server. Now, it's not guaranteed that that'll happen, so we're gonna have to hope that it happens. If it doesn't, I guess I'm just gonna punch myself in the face, but, you know, we can still try and uh, wait for that, and then once we get the CB, then we'll be converting guys, all while trying to form Italy. Yes, I did think about forming Russia, like I said, but it would just take too long, man. And the problem with Dith Martian is, even though it's such a great nation, it becomes really the fun part about playing it is after, like, the 1550s, maybe, man. Basically, in the 1600s is where Death March and really shine. All right, so favors have been created with my boys. I decided not to do it by myself. And uh, let's go for the conquest of Burden right here. Colin, Colin, and Lunenburg. And uh, let's get it, man. Let's take these guys out. There we go. Tier 2 Gov reform time already. Of course, we don't have strength and noble privileges because we don't have nobles. We're a republic. But we can take authoritarianism, political dynasties, republicanism. We are going to go with political dynasties here. And we've beaten up Verdun. Of course, we are going to phalanx them. Boom, just like that. We are starting to sneak our way down to Italy. It's going to be painful. Full, isn't it? Yes, of course it is. But now at least we can go through Brunswick, man, and we can probably take like three provinces from them, which is going to be super sweet. We won't have to fight a million nations, just uh, 999,000. So let's score this stuff up and uh, yeah, start spying on Brunswick. My Navy and Free Company did get beat up, unfortunately. Oh my God, it's the Burgundy Liege War, but instead of Austria, it's Ansbach. <laughs> They might win. <laughs> I do have uh, tech four in all categories, so I am gonna speed up the spawning of the Renaissance in uh, in my capital right here just a little bit. It is a uh, marsh, but hey, listen. When has that ever stopped me, huh, boys? When has that ever stopped me? Of course, it's pretty funny that we can also resist feudalism. <laughs> I accidentally rivaled Lüneburg, which I was allied to. <laughs> okay, I can ally Denmark, which I will do. <laughs> and I did also just ally Switzerland, too. All right, so I was helping Köln beat up Munster, but now we can get a move on and uh, declare on Brunswick right here. I've also gathered favors with my new allies here, so this should be pretty easy. All right, we're going for uh, these three, right? Yeah, Hanover, Braunschweig, and uh, Göttingen. So that was not a difficult war at all. My allies were actually pretty competent in this war. And uh, let's peace out Brunswick for these three provinces. Less A than I thought, which is awesome. And let's take all their money as well. Boom, a more expansion, man. I think we're going to go through Hesse here, just one province, and then through Würzburg, these two provinces. And then we're stuck uh, between uh, the Emperor, a free city, and uh, my former ally of Mainz and the Palatinate. Yeah, this is the hardest part to get through, I'm thinking. How are we going to do it, man? Maybe like this? Yeah, probably. We're going to have to go through Rothenburg. Good thing the Emperor is an idiot, apparently. We can also take our tier 3 government reform, which is gonna be frequent elections, and we can also take a new mission, I think? Where is it? Well, I could take this. Now I can't, I guess. Let's core these up. I know war exhaustion is high, but uh, yeah, we're chilling. Let me spy on Hesse. Shadow Kingdom just fired, which means the Italians will leave the HRE, which means it'll be easier to beat them up later with less AE2. Is Austria allied to any Italian nations? Nope, just Naples, which doesn't count. And is Ansbach? No, but they do have strong allies. Ah, uh, Milan stayed in the HRE. <laughs> Sucks, dude. Yeah, but of course they want their ally to Ansbach. Bohemia is also Hussite, by the way, so that's pretty funny. Yeah. And I know I got my merchants in stupid places, but I put them in Saxony and the Rhineland to establish communities. All right, I embrace the Renaissance and tech top, which means we can go for our first idea group here. Now, what do we go with, man? Should it be Diplo to negate the coalitions and stuff, or should it be Quantity to buff ourselves up even more? I feel like those are really the only two picks. We could, of course, go with Pluto as well. It really meshes well with uh, Death Martian's ideas. Okay, how about we go Diplo Pluto? Yeah, sounds good to me. Boom, there we go, and I'll focus on Dip right here. And I think we can get a move on here since we only need one province from Hesse. Sure, it is their capital, but but hey, it's a nice province, man. We're actually conquering some uh, super nice provinces along the way. So yeah, let's declare on Hesse here. We just need one province. Call in all the boys. That's why I'm not declaring wars that quick, man. I really need my allies' help during this early game. And, uh, you know, I just realized we're gonna split the HRE almost exactly in half, man. It's gonna be pretty funny. Really, Austria? You rivaled me, man. Now Landsatzi, the Emperor. Who are they allied to? Ah, oh, Bohemia. They'd probably defend Rothenburg too, right? Yeah, they would. That sucks. You know, I don't know why I'm dragging out these wars any longer than I need to when I'm not full annexing these guys, right? I could, I could just peace out now, man. I just need neither Hessen. I, literally, that's, that's the only thing I need man. Yeah, there we go. Sweet! More expansion. I've already been spying on a Würzburg right here, so we can get a claim on them, but I will chill a bit now. Let me see my A. Eh, I probably can't take both of these without getting a coalition, so let's just chill for a bit and improve with allies and outrage guys and stuff like that. I might have to break my alliance with Brandenburg here because they just got Ansbach as a junior partner, and I might have to go through them instead of uh, Rothenburg here because the Emperor would defend Rothenburg. So we might have to go like, uh, 
this instead of through Rothenberg, which is totally fine. But uh, yeah, I guess we're going to get rid of Brandemer here. And there we go. I will need to find someone to replace them with, though. And that someone is going to be England. Hm. I really need someone in the HRE, though. England isn't really going to help us here. Maybe Liège. All right, all right. I feel like we've chilled for long enough here. Let's go take these two provinces from Würzburg, call in Denmark, apparently, and Switzerland. And uh, let's get it. And this war is pretty much done, too. Like I said, there's no reason to drag these wars out where we're not full annexing someone. So uh, let me take that war rep, some money, too. Nice, man. Looking good. I'm already spying on Brandenburg here. And as soon as my truce with them is up, which is actually in a pretty short while, I think I am going to be declaring on them. But aggressive expansion is getting kind of high. So I might have to chill a bit after all. Yeah, we'll see what's up, man. But it's going to be Ansbach, Ingolstadt, Augsburg, Burgund, the three leagues. And then we'll be in Italy, baby. I don't know what the requirements are to form Italy. We need Rome and Florence and Milan for sure. And then Genoa and Venice, something like that. I don't know. We need like five or six provinces, I think. Just like that, Ansbach is free. I guess uh, Brandenburg took the event uh, Despacito Achilles or whatever it's called. They're still a highlight to Brandenburg, so the spy network was useless. Maybe I can link with them again. Great, now they don't like me. Awesome. <laughs> Finally, some AE reduction. To your four gov reform time, of course, we're blazing through these because we're a republic. Uh, we shouldn't go with Union of States, right? What about this one? What's our gov cap right now? Eh, will it exceed 200? I feel like it will, but by the time it does, we'll grow larger. I'm actually we're gonna go for state maintenance here, man. Minus 25%. I did get another diplomatic slot from uh, an event along with minus 5% AE. So I am gonna link with Ferrara right here. Maybe it would be wise to have an ally in uh, Italy as well. But yeah, some time has passed and I think it's time to get a move on. It is super annoying taking one by one by one by one province, you know, moving like a snake. But hey, we haven't done it in a while, man. When's the last time I formed Italy, by the way? Last time it was with one of the HRE guys as well, right? But I forgot which nation. Either way, let's declare here again, call in all the boys and uh let's get it baby it is time for our second idea group what did i say i was gonna take pluto right merc stuff i do need a morale even more awesome merchants even more goods produced yeah man pluto is probably the best idea group you can take as death marching man it meshes so well with what we already have oh province war school cost don't mind if i do all right all right let's humiliate brandenburg there we go another age objective ticked off and let's annex ansbach not a lot of ae at all now we just need to take one province from ingolstadt right here so let's spy on them huh yeah ah well, Switzerland is calling me in versus the three leagues. Now, this isn't good. Uh, I don't want them to get that. So, uh, I'm going to decline here. I'm going to eat the penalty. And, you know, I can just trade favors for trust with all of my allies. So, none of them think I will abandon them or something like that. There we go. Trade favors for trust. Trade favors for trust. Trade favors for trust. And trade favors for trust. They like me again. And let's get a move on. Ingolstadt's pretty weak. They're just like to Ullman Rothenberg. I am going to call in Mainz. And uh, let's get it right here, too. Well, that was easy. Switzerland won. We're gonna have to fight them. No! Well, who's Burgund's ally too? Alright, they don't got strong allies. What about Augsburg? Nope. Ah, uh, it won't be too hard. It's whatever, honestly. <laughs> Alright, so to form communist Italy, we're gonna need Rome, Florence, Genoa, Milan, and... Dude, I swear I just looked at the requirements, bro. There was one more that I forgot. I'm <laughs> such an idiot. But yeah, it's five provinces and 15 more for a total of 20 to form Italy. Uh, yeah. Unless we can fight uh, Naples here, it's gonna be hard. New merchant. Basically, we can tell this guy to improve relations with someone somewhere. Let's see who's angry right here. Taking a look at our coalition map mode. No one's really angry, man. Uh, maybe we can put him to improve in Vienna for now. Just like that, but later we'll put two guys in Genoa and Venice. Alright, let's be quick with it here. Augsburg just lost a war to Munich and they don't have any allies, so let's pounce on them right away. And we can wrap things up with Augsburg as well. Perfect, man. We're almost in Italy. This expansion over here in the HRE is going really well. It's just Burgons and these two provinces from Switzerland. And then we'll be able to fight Milan, baby. Milan is pretty strong. They do have decent allies, but uh, I don't think it should be a problem. The problem is going to be aggressive expansion. And I don't think the map in Italy has changed at all all from 1444 bro look at this the only thing that's changed is the pope annexing his two vassals right here everything else is literally the same dude i wonder what alliance networks exist here so uh it's so stable but oh corsica popped out of genoa all right <laughs> oh it was the the four main provinces to form italy so it is the rome florence genoa and uh, milan and then 16 other random provinces by the way i know we're not really doing it because we're doing you know uh, just a to z things but <laughs> death martian has a really nice mission tree let's go and deal with Burgons as well. I'm sick and tired of waiting. Hmm, they have quite a few allies. Let's call in quite a few allies. And with claims bordering claims, I'm already claiming Switzerland's provinces. And Burgons is done as well. 
Let's take everything. I can't wait to swap to Pradas and bro. Reform progress is growing so slowly. Reform desire, I mean. But yeah, A is not bad at all. So I think we're going to move on Switzerland immediately for one of these two provinces here. Elans, apparently. Huh, can we do it just with Ferrara? <laughs> of course we can, baby. Easy life. Easy life, let me tell you. Now, sure, we're nowhere near our goal of forming Italy because we don't have a single province in Italy. And we're nowhere near our goal of turning 10 nations communist because, well, the peasants war still hasn't happened. But hey, uh, hopefully we'll get there. Fourth merchant, by the way, for from uh, Pluto. Let's tell that guy to collect in Genoa, but really establish communities. Tier 5, got reform time. Let's go for a presidential system. And just like that, we can wrap up this war as well. Alrighty, boys. I got two claims in Milan ready to go. They do have a bunch of allies. I think I'm gonna wait to claim Pavia as well, and then we're gonna go for it, man. Almost in Italy. Looking good. Someone formed Bavaria, and now they're the emperor? Looks like they followed my guide from two days ago, man. <laughs> I think I'm gonna ally Venice here. It Oh, in fact, I'm not gonna ally Venice. <laughs> I can ally Castile now. Maybe they will be of help over here in Italy, since we don't need Denmark anymore, right? They're, uh, we don't really have anything to do with them up in the north. I am gonna keep them around, though, you know, for uh, risk of getting coalition and stuff. And now I'm gonna link with Venice, too, since they ended their war with the Ottomans. All right, let's fight Milan, boys. Uh, let's declare for their capital, and I'm gonna call in Liege and England. I got stack wiped. Oh, uh, you, you know, this war started hard, but my boys got everything in order. That's not the problem, though. The problem is, man, Italian aggressive expansion. Look at what happens if I take these two provinces, bro. There's no way we can take three. Things are going to slow down so much, man. Pain, but I got to do this, dog. I got to do this. Uh, maybe we can vassalize someone with claims, bordering claims, but A is insane immediately. Milan is in the HRE2, which, you know, increased it. I think I'm going to go for espionage for my third one man even though it's so far off and all these alliances are so painful man look at this uh the process of reformation just spawned in where is it uh it's in uh lubeck nice of course like i said we are gonna be going protestant i haven't done it in a while it's been quite a long time so uh yeah man let's go protestant it does seem like a more communist religion rather than Catholic, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's get it, baby. The Center of Reformation, funnily enough, spawned in Milan. Now, I thought it always spawned in your capital. I guess not, but that's really good because it'll convert some Italian guys too. Nice. Who wants to break their alliance with me? Cole? I don't care. But wait, actually, now that the Protestant Reformation spawned, uh, once the Age of Discovery ends, I think the Peasants Republic thing incident can happen. Now, I don't know the trigger conditions for that. I don't think you can trigger it, like, manually. I guess we'll just have to, uh... <laughs> hope for it? I don't know. All right, I think we can get a move on here. What I'm gonna do is declare on Luca right here, even though we're not connected to them. I'm gonna vassalize them. Ah, uh, Castile would join. No, now they won't. Ah, uh, but I think me and Venice can take care of it. Yeah, and I'm gonna make uh, whoever of these... Imereti, really? And I'm gonna make Genoa and Savoy end their alliances with France, I think. Let's get it. And I made these two guys end their alliances with France, and now we can vassalize Luca. Nice! I was clicking C, and this time I didn't accidentally declare a war, but I did accidentally accept Luca becoming my march. <laughs> oh my god, this is so stupid. <laughs> Whatever. My truce with Milan is apparently up, but they're fighting a war with Genoa, so I'll wait for that. You know what? I am gonna take Admitech 10, six years ahead of time, just so I can get uh, espionage right here and get the minus 20% A. Tier 6, got reform time. Let's go with devolution of powers for even more diplomats, for even more of this. <laughs> I'm gonna declare on Florence here since uh, neither of the allies would defend them, and uh, I think I'm gonna feed most of of it to Luca. Well, I think I'm gonna feel all of it to Luca actually. So let's do that. Uh, take Pisa. Call in Venice? Sure, why not? And just like that, the Age of Reformation has also started, which I think, uh, yeah, we should be getting the Peasants War now. Maybe, perhaps, I don't know. Let's see. All right, let's see what we can do with Florence here, giving this to Lucas 25A. What if I do this? That would be painful. What if I do this? That wouldn't be painful. So let's do that. All right, man, we got like two out of the four provinces that we really need, and we got one, two, three, four, five provinces in Italy. Only 15 war. Please, Peasants War. Come on, do it. Start. Oh, I just saw we need reformed to spawn for the great peasants war so i guess we're waiting for that and since my truce with milan is up i think it is time to hit them we gotta connect our lands here and most importantly grab the third out of the four important provinces the province of genoa so let's call in england and let's get it baby
Hey, reform just spawned. I clicked off the pop-up, but uh, there it is. There it is. Okay, so now I think we gotta be eligible for that, right? And this is done as well. Boom, there we go. We've connected our lands and we will create three out of the four important provinces. And I also just read that this uh, Great Peasants War can only happen before or while there aren't any religious leagues. So we got about till 1550 for it to spawn. If it doesn't spawn until then, I guess it never will. Ah, we're finally getting coalitioned. Awesome. Okay, so while clicking around doing nothing i found this enforced peasant demands uh, does not have any imperial incident okay peasants where progress must be at least 10 current progress is one what does that mean though and are we the only nation that can see this or can like um i don't know Friesland see it as well right can they take that or do we need to take that i don't really know what's happening because i've never done this but let's see if that changes to maybe like two later i don't know okay wait a minute i think it has started since i just clicked on milan right here man and we got a peasant revolt cb now listen game you gotta inform me about stuff like this okay you gotta tell me that i can take this decision later you gotta tell me that i got a new cb on well i guess everyone i border to turn them into a peasant's republic man meanwhile i'm standing over here like some dumbass waiting for this coalition to go away while we can actually turn nations into communist nations finally man all right i guess we're done in italy let's go back up north and uh see what's up with well maybe not Lunaburg, but see what's up with brunswick do they want to be peasants yes of course they do hell yeah let's get it on super fun that we can do it now but uh it's stupid that i didn't know about this i i need to be told all right all right baby let's get it on let's turn some people into communists hell yeah all right, at least we know we can't do it on the main belligerent, right? It's supposed to be right here, but it's not. So I'm just going to white piece everyone else that I'm not turning into communists. And there we go. We can finally turn another nation into our communist brethren. Wait, I don't want to annex it. I want to uh, enforce peasant rule. Boom, there we go. Are they a peasant's republic now as well? Let's see. I guess they are. I don't know. Where is it? Where can I see it? Yeah, I mean, they should be, right? Either way, I'm counting that as a win. One out of nine down. There's currently three peasants. Rep oh, no, wait. Liege is a peasant republic as well. But I didn't turn them into one, right? Yeah, I didn't turn them into one. Friesland starts as a peasant republic. But good job, Liege, man. Good job, Liege. Okay, now this has grown right here to six. I think I'm figuring out how it works. But yeah, baby, we're spreading communism. Let's see if we can spread it to Goslar as well. Um, Maybe not because they're a free city. What about Hesse? Can we spread it to... He nope guess not but we can spread it to brandenburg so let's do that <laughs> let's make Bra <laughs> brandenburg is an opium <laughs> i just noticed by the way i'm helping castile out fight corsica that's this other war <laughs> yes communist brandenburg time let's enforce even more peasant rule two out of ten done and uh now we can actually enforce peasant demands who wants to break their alliance with me the british because i don't know why now i think when this happens we'll get the imperial incident but they'll just choose to crush the peasantry right right let's see um oh yeah there it is so i'm gonna choose to uh grant concessions to the peasantry i don't know and i know what you're thinking you're like hawk are you only gonna convert opms to peasant republics no look at how big saxony is let's go make them a peasant republic as well call in all the boys baby Great, now Castile called me in versus Austria and Naples. <laughs> Not a good time to have declared this war. <laughs> ah, I guess the total dev needs to be um, less than 150. So there was no reason to declare this war. <laughs> okay, so the Imperial Incident is over and it's grant concessions to the peasantry, giving minus 5% national tax to members of the empire that are not peasant republics. So did we win? What does that mean? Okay, that thing is gone from here, but can I still, Im uh, can I still enforce peasant stuff? Okay, I can. All right, I'm going to declare peasant revolt on Stuttgart since I'm already fighting Austria. And that's going to be our third guy, right? We already did Brunswick and Brandenburg. Plus 33% national manpower by getting espionage in Pluto. That's nice. And that's communism enforced on a third nation. Inching ever closer, baby. Spread. All right, coalition disbanded and this war is over. Let's continue spreading our communist rule and taking over provinces as well. Now I'm going to fight Milan here. I'm going to try and take as much as I can. And maybe I'll leave them alive in one province just to enforce communist rule. Rule.
and the war with Milan is done. I'm going to enforce peasant rule and take Parma as well. There we go. Four out of ten done. Now I'm also going to start annexing Luca over here and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight provinces in Italy. We need Rome and then 11 more. I am going to continue my conquest by fighting Siena right here and I'm going to co-belligerent Perugia as well. So that's two more provinces for us. And this war is done as well. Siena and Perugia are acquired. Not a lot of AE at all. These guys aren't in the HRE anymore. Let's score that up, of course, when we can. And now we're looking good, baby. Let's go convert some more people to communism. And this time the target is on halt. And let's call in these boys and let's go. I think we're halfway there, baby. Let's see. Enforce peasant rule. Yup. Five out of ten nations have been turned communist. Let's go back down to Italy, huh? And uh, let's beat up the Pope, dude. <laughs> And the war with the Pope should be done by now. During this point, I've also annexed Luca, and we will full annex the Pope. I wonder where he's gonna pop out. My bet is Koblenz. I think he always pops out there. <laughs> Damn, man, no one likes me anymore. <laughs> Can we ally someone, please? While things are chilling in Italy, let's go make our sixth nation communist. And that's 6 out of 10. Let's enforce peasant rule on Mainz. Nice. So the Pope popped out in Paderborn from Köln, and because they stopped existing, we don't have a truce with them. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make the Pope communist. Oh, apparently I can't because he, uh, <laughs> he is the papal state. <laughs> okay, this was a bad declaration. <laughs> I'm just white piece. But yeah, let's uh, get our 7th uh, communist nation in Würzburg. I swear, the only thing I'm using mill points on is bombing forts, dude. 7 out of 10, baby. Let's go back down to Italy. All right, boys, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hit Florence and call in Venice and co-belligerent both Mantua and Savoy, and hopefully in this war we can get the remaining six provinces that we need to form Italy. All right, let's annex Mantua and three provinces from Savoy, along with two provinces from Florence, apparently. I guess I annexed everything. Uh, let's see. Please let me be correct. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. Now we have all the provinces that we need to form Italy. We just need to core them up. And what I also need to do is uh, state Lazio Umbria here and move our capital here or something, or maybe not. I just need to destate everything that's not uh, Italian culture just so I can flip to uh, Umbrian or whatever the culture is over in Rome or something like that. Ah, a coalition. Um, I think it should be easy to get out of it because I am going to give up everything over here. Let's see. And the coalition has been pieced out. Look Luckily, everything worked out in our favor because I released a bunch of nations over here in the south of Germany and I gave back pretty much almost everything up here that I conquered previously and the only thing that I'm left with is my capital of death Marchen and everything that I own in Italy, so we're good with that. Now, we got truces with all these guys that hate us and we just need to core up some stuff over here and of course flip to one of the Italian cultures. It would be pretty funny if we went back to Catholic, because we can. <laughs> and yeah, let me promote Tuscan right here, we can't culture shift because we need to actually destate stuff that's not Tuscan. Let's see now. And we just need to destate something else. And now we can flip to Tuscan. And let me culture shift to Tuscan. And now we got the decision to form Italy. That's right. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, we just need to core them up. Okay. Oh, and just like that, we've cored up the final province that we need in order to form Italy as a peasant's republic as Death March. And why would Austria hate me though? Boom. There we go. We leave the HRE. And are we still a peasant's republic? Public. Of course we are, everyone. And that's one of our goals accomplished. We formed Italy as a peasant's republic so we can listen to Bella Ciao the right way. But yeah, there we go, man. We started off as the nation of Death March and a peasant's republic in the HRE, one of three in 1444, along with Friesland and East Frisia. And our two goals for this campaign were to form Italy as a peasant's republic, like I said, to listen to Bella Ciao the right way, and along the way to convert 10 other nations to communism once we hopefully got the peasant's revolt CB. Now, luckily, we did get it and we did start converting a bunch of nations. And even though right now there are 10 peasant republics, I only managed to convert seven myself, the other three being Friesland, Liege, and myself. So that goal, I won't consider it a success. And this video has gone on long enough for me to try and accomplish it. But our second goal, it was a success. Overall, a super difficult and super fun campaign at the same time. Like I said earlier, Death March and really starts getting fun around the 1550s to 1600s. If you, of course, play them the way they are supposed to be played and not just going from Italy and stuff like that. But there we go, man. We are a serene republic, still a peasant's republic, and we did manage to accomplish one of our goals, and we're almost done with our second goal. So 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Death Martian in Ada Z has been 75% a success. And that has been Death Martian in Ada Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more challenges like this or more you for videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything and you can become a member today and join the discord the link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another eu4 video